shall see. Thank you. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, it's the best yet. 12.5. We got our 12.5, guys. <clears throat> that is not bad given the temperature, the tire, and this fat, heavy truck. How's it going, everyone? So today's video, I just want to update you guys on what's going on. Um, what to expect this week at least, because uh, I usually upload the videos fairly quickly, but we got some stuff in the works. Um, being the beginning of the week, there's not a whole lot going on, but um, I'm pretty excited for the end half of this week and what we got uh, planned. So, um, as you guys know, where we left off, uh, I guess last week, because I'm kind of updating you guys on a daily basis. Last week, we got the truck ready. Uh, we got the slicks. We got um, some 20 inch wheels that we can put on the rear so that we don't have to worry about the 24s taking a walk when we go for a run, uh, when we finally get to the track. So plan is 17s in the front, 20 inch crappy wheels in the back. Once we get to the track, we'll bolt up the 17 inch uh, slicks and um, we'll do our thing. So um, actually, I guess tomorrow I will post, I'm gonna try removing the driver's side seat. So tomorrow you guys can expect how much uh, the driver's side seat weighs and disconnecting that and seeing what kind of uh, what results um, we find by disconnecting the seat and how it affects the rest of the truck. So that's coming tomorrow. Um, I'm also gonna weigh that seat for you guys so you guys have an idea of how much it weighs. Uh, I'm still not sure how I'm gonna do it just yet. I have one of those kind of digital bathroom scales that you step on but um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna balance that on there. So I might, probably what I'll end up doing is I'll step onto the scale um, myself, weigh myself, and then I'll hold the seat, step on the scale, see what it all weighs, and then we'll do the math because trying to balance that thing on the scale probably isn't going to work too well, but I think we can do simple math, add myself, subtract myself, and we'll know exactly what it weighs. So that's the plan because I do want to get the weight for you guys, and I also want to show you guys what it affects if you remove the seat, if any strange lights are going to come on. It's probably going to disable the airbag system, but um, that's where we're at. I also have to do a couple small things. I was telling you guys about some phantom knock I had, so I have to, um, I'm gonna at least hope that it's the dipstick tube rattling. So I'm gonna uh, correct that uh, hopefully tomorrow as well. And then as far as more exciting things, um, Thursday I'm hoping to do some eighth mile tests. So the idea is to go to the eighth mile, break in those slicks, and uh, get some test runs in, hopefully some data logging. Saturday is the bigger, better day that we're gonna go to. So we're gonna go to um, an event and um, it's a quarter mile. So I'm hoping to set some good quarter mile times for the truck and um, at that point, I think we're gonna maybe decide what we wanna do, which direction to go. Um, I'm really leaning towards um, taking you guys on the adventure of the journey back to stock, removing it and uh, kinda just keeping it as uh, I don't know, a truck, that a practical truck in a sense. So um, I think that's what I'm leaning towards, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know some people might not want to see that, but I just want to set some times for you guys without, um, I don't know, without doing too much craziness or madness to my truck. And then we'll get something that's actually track oriented. Um, if I can recoup the money out of the Pro Charger kit and some of the other supporting mods, I think we'll be able to get a pretty sweet uh, vehicle, but I don't know. We'll see how long we're going to keep things around for. Uh, some other exciting news for you guys is um, I'm going to do a official kind of, um, I'll, I'll do an official video that kind of explains a little bit more on it, but we have uh, two new exciting sponsors and they go beautifully together. So um, like I said, I'll get into more details later, but we have uh, HP tuners jumping on board and we also have a uh, the tuning school. So the tuning school is pretty cool and they have a new product that they're releasing or just released and it shows you the basics so that, because a lot of people are asking me on the HP tuners, um, you know, how to do this, is it user friendly, how do you do that with it? And HP tuners just kind of gives you the software 
it's up to you if you want to go to, with a tuner or you want to play with your things yourself, but you have full capability on tuning, which is great. Um, some people don't like that. Um, and you can use the HP tuners just as a loader. You can get a, a custom tuner such as Jay Green to load your tune, but if you want to get your hands into things a little bit more, um, you can tune yourself. That has full capability on the HP tuners, which is nice, but uh, you can damage things. You can make things really great at the same time, but um, the tuning school does have a kit which walks you through A to Z on how to tune, and um, I'm reviewing the material and I'm going to show you guys it once I go through it, which will be pretty cool, but I wanna do a separate video on that. I just kinda of wanna give you guys a little teaser on that stuff. It should be pretty cool though, so um, it'll be nice to you know, show you guys that process and see how it works. Obviously we got uh, Jay Green tuning it and he's been doing a fantastic job in getting this thing to go fast, so um, he's gonna run this thing and uh, he'll keep tuning it, but in the meantime, it'll be nice to kinda of, uh, know how to tune ourselves and know what we're looking at when you open that software because that software on HP tuners when you open it There's just a million numbers and all sorts of things and um, I'm not Uncomfortable with it by any means, but some people get a little bit overwhelmed when they look at a computer screen with tables and numbers and charts and all that stuff so um, That'll be pretty cool to get into with you guys so that you guys can get your, your hands in there if you choose to and and I can show you a little bit more on the tuning side of things so um, Excited for that and also rear seats will be weighing that stuff as well. I don't know if I'll get all the rear seat stuff out for this eighth mile. I might just pull the front seat, the passenger front seat, because that'll be a simple four bolts and a plug, but the rear seats are more bolts and nuts and all that stuff. So um, I'm thinking realistically Thursday, we'll do some eighth mile with the front seat removed, uh, hopefully the front seat removed. And then it's almost gonna be back to back. Friday, I'll get a chance to go over the truck. Hopefully uh, everything's good, nothing needs to be adjusted or belts and all that good stuff. And then Saturday, we're back to the track. If anybody's uh, local, it's gonna be at Famoso uh, Speedway in California. But um, yeah, that event should be pretty good. So that's where we're planning to go. If anybody wants to come out and join, I would uh, be more than happy to meet you guys and see if uh, see if this thing runs what we hope it runs. But that's gonna pretty much do it for today, guys. Let me know if you have any questions on the truck, the setup, what our plans are, all that. But also, um, let me know how many runs you guys wanna see, quarter mile stuff, before we, we call it good. So I'm hoping we can get a good quarter mile in this Saturday. Depending on what we run, if we break into, and I don't wanna jinx it, but if we break into 11s, I think that should suffice for a stock motor uh, with stock boost and the Pro Charger, but we'll see what happens. Um, I won't be upset if it doesn't run it right away because we still probably need to do a bit more tuning, but um, I think we're getting pretty close. So low 12s should be in the books, maybe high 11s if we get a great run and a good day and weather and all that good stuff. But um, I'm being optimistic, but we'll see what runs again. Anyways guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any suggestions on any other stuff you wanna see on the truck? Um, as far as you guys want information on any of the mods we've done so far, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think about parting out the truck to start another project here soon. Um, let me know what you think about watching that whole process of returning it back to stock. Um, I think it'll be kind of funny, to, or not funny, but entertaining at least. That's my opinion of seeing the transformation from you know, a low 12, 12 second truck back into um, a reliable and a truck that you can tow with, which is probably the intention. I might actually uh, put it back mostly to stock and then put the Belltech 2.4 kit in it and kind of just drive it around as a, as a truck with not like crazy high horsepower. But these are all just some ideas I'm tossing around. Let me know what your opinion is um, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.